for you is. Let me know when you're when you're rolling, Lino. Welcome, everybody. Let's uh, go to the Lord in prayer, shall we? Father, thank you for your goodness. We appreciate so much this opportunity. We appreciate Samuel taking the time to speak to us about a matter of real significance to us, not only as believers in Christ, but as men who are heads of household or will be someday heads of household uh, so that we might uh, understand what the Word of God teaches about our responsibility as the priests of our homes, uh, heads of our houses, fathers to our children. Pray that you might give to our brother wisdom and grace, that you might help him to uh, call upon the reservoir of experience and understanding and blessings that he's had throughout the course of his fruitful ministry, and that we might be receptive. And for this, we thank and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, we embrace the doctrines of grace, but we also believe the Bible. Not that there's any conflict between the two. I think they're entirely compatible. And one of the things that we read in the New Testament is that you have not because you ask not. And you ask amiss that you might consume it upon your lusts. So sometimes we ask not at all. And at other times we ask in the wrong way. And if we have sin, then the Lord doesn't hear and has no obligation to answer us. So Brother Rye is going to talk to us this evening about reaching our families with the gospel. Brother Rye, if you would, please. Thank you. Good evening. Why you are so far? <laughs> In my church, because of the, they are so far. Sometimes so I, I make a so big voice and they are afraid of that I make a finger. <laughs> it will not happen. Sorry. Okay. I will read it one verse tonight. That's the Ezekiel chapter 34. No, Ezekiel, not 34, Ezekiel 22, verse 30. The scripture says that uh, verse 30, Said that the so I sought for the, for a man. Is the thus says the Lord. It is a God said that the, so I sought for a man among them who would make a wall and stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land that I should not destroy it, but I found no one. May God bless us. Exactly, I'm, I would like to talk this evening is the, about the intercessory prayer. You know? Yes.
it's always is the God's I mean, so God's plan is uh, God God uh, God uh, way a uh, God plan is to prosper, bless the family. And the Satan's plan is always to destroy the family. There is the two always the we can see one by another. The first is the God in the creation. He bless the family. Be be multiply, be prosper. And the in the same family, the Satan has taken advantage. Take the chance to destroy, to to use the family. The Satan used the wife. So I'm very important. Means this evening, very. I wanted to bring it. Things is that the uh, issue is that. Uh, when the family was destroyed, when the humans uh, were uh, the uh, the people um, the human were separated from the God present of the Lord, there someone needed to be a to be for for save for free from the sin, from from the dis destruction, for free, save from the death. Because of separation is a death, you know. We don't see that the it's a really. Sometimes uh, when I'm studying this uh, word of God, if we'd have a leap for uh, forever and forever, and the, it is a ten thousand years, we would have a ten thousand years old man. Adam, Adam should be with us. <laughs> Abraham should be with us, but it wasn't a plan. I mean, it wasn't a the the human body was a. It, it, I believe that it was the, it it wasn't a immortal, you know, to live forever. But the, there was the, the when God put His spirit, His soul, on the man, that was the dwelling of the till uh, dwell, we, when we find out in the book of the uh, book of Corinth, uh, Corinthians that the, we 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 are the temple of the Holy Spirit. At the same time, God created that the, that the, he, the, blue, the, his, the, the Spirit, so man became alive. That's the, what I believe, you know. So, logically or scripturally, if the Satan has not destroyed the, the, uh, means the ma man in the Garden of Eden, so we today ten thousand years twenty our ten thousand years and plus we should have Adam with us. So what what will happen? That was the entirely plan of God that uh, that the, our body should be. Uh, it is not our matter of the, our physical body. It was entirely it was a spiritual body, and the it was a separated the spirit. Because of the God says that today onwards my spirit will not remain, will not be with you. So each it's a his spirit of the God was taken up off that day onwards. Then the, he was separated from the communion with God and communication with God. That's the I, I don't want to bring such a th such a things are. But but the God has a plan to someone to be a savior. So he was uh, one by another uh, by uh, by the a priest or by the prophets and the uh, he was the looking someone to be a stand and the gap man and God the important that one so Ezekiel said that I was I am seeking someone to stand in the gap because of the one who can be a the plea to the God pray to the God so we can entirely understand that the Jesus is the he came, God himself became a man. There was no one to be a stand in the gap. No one except himself. That's the way we understand. No prophet, no priest, no kings. There was no one to be stand uh, and build a wall for protection 
and the pray for God to himself, uh, God himself. So that's, that's the plan. God had a plan to incarnate himself to be a, uh, to form of the, uh, to, uh, wh why he became a man is to be a, to, to pray to Father, to extend the gap on the behalf of man, his people, Susan ones, and the, to God. Because in the gap, no man can be a holy. Only holy person can be. Why he did not find someone to stand in the gap? If the, no one was the perfect and holy as he uh, seeking one. This is a very important. It is a, why the human, the, the Jesus became a, to save the people. It is a, that entirely uh, his uh, uh, God plan was to save his people. Those who are elected or predestined, whatever we say, to the in, in the before the founders of the world, he has a he has a, uh, all, a desire to be all men to be saved, as his predestined. But uh, there was no one, no one could save, uh, to no one could save the people. Of course, we we talk a lot about the lot about the in Old Testament the, the, the Enoch was taken up because of the heaven by faith and and, and in the uh, uh, the Moses was uh, taken up in the and Noah's and everybody we talk. But I think I what I believe is that they had a revelation understanding of Jesus Christ, coming of Jesus Christ. God has revealed them. And they, they believe in coming of Lord Jesus Christ. Incarnation of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's believing itself because of by faith they have taken up. It is a, what they believe is that God had a plan to have a savior. So that was the, their belief. That means in the very beginning, Jesus was there and the people believe in Jesus. That is the in the beginning, there was the word, word became a, that's the, that's the thing, he, they believe it. So, this evening, what I'm talking about, the intercessory, Jesus himself is our intercessor. Uh, we don't see anyone more, more, uh, uh, more than, you know, and the, those who are pray, intercessory prayer, those, uh, those who are taken up in the Bible, they were temporarily our they are the the shadow or temporarily they are like intercessors until the perfect uh, per, per, the perfect comes god put them in like a moses and other the day prayer was a was a, a, just coming up the intercessor perfect intercessor is a jesus who can stand in the gap that's why that's why the Ezekiel is seeking a entirely intercessor one is the holy person the holy one perfect one there were so many people those who are praying you know so many prophets so many priests they've been through all the history of the bible but the god said no, no one what does it mean by no one means what he was looking god was looking what God, what God wanted to see is that someone holy and perfect man should stand on the gap that wants. So only holy priest, holy perfect man, and the perfect God, son of God, the Jesus alone. So today what we believe is that he is our interceder according to the Gospel of John, you know? And according to the Acts chapter 7, Stephen saw that that is the right of, right of the Father of God's hand. He was the perfect man. So when we, be, be, we believe in Jesus, as, as, as the Peter says, so as, as the, we believe that the, we are the I mean, say, holy nation, Susan nations. So now, now, on the behalf of our people, on the behalf of anyone lost ones, our God's ones, we can stand there, you know, we can pray. We can make an intercede. As we are called to be a holy, you know, that's the God's design was that one. God's desire was the someone standing in the gap is the holy person. The his, his, his person. His people, his man. He want, the, his one, wanted man, his chosen one. 
Because in the Old Testament, we can see no one he found that. The after the because of the after the blood of, means after the savior uh, of Jesus, uh, then we are now, you know, we can stand on the behalf of to to the man, to the family, to the people. In this feeling that a gap. So I don't want to bring a very bass like this. But the, when we see in the Bible that the, who can stand is the only the holy person can stand. Who can worship the Lord? Sometimes it's a big challenge that the, in the, those days in the Old Testament, who can who can who can enter into the uh, tent of God or sanctuary of God or altar of God? In the in in the in the law, we can see all the holy people and the, they will they, the 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 chief priests ha, ha, have to sanctify himself a year, a month to go to the uh, in the. Uh, uh, in the ark of the, uh, the the guards, you know, to enter into the holy place. It's very important that the uh, it is a, when we enter into the worship, when we are enter into the uh, to worship the God, the holiness is very very holy. Purify ourselves to be a holy. God said that uh, be holy as I am holy. So many people they believe that the separation from the uh, the world, huh? be holy. That's also the, somebody have an interpretation that the holy means to be separate from the world. Of course it is. But the, if you separate from the world, then you, you need to be transported to in, indwell or transport to the heaven. To indwell in heaven. To use, it is a, not only separate to be from the world and just to be remind as it is somewhere else. Not that that is easy. When you, it is the only only thing is that uh, you know I think that the Martin Luther wrote that, that the bondage of will you know he said that the only there is to will but the, the Armenian brothers some of the brothers too that they feel that the, there is three wills you know the bondage of the satans he said that there is uh, sorry bondage of the will Martin Luther's that the book says that, that there is two will what God's will or the satan wills there is no human wills. Those who follow the Satan, uh, Satan will or the God will. But the Armenian brothers, uh, they, they, uh, they, they, they define that there is the one, the free will or human will. Man can choose according to his will. But the, we don't, uh, but, but the, the Luther said that the man, uh, man have no choice. You know? He's entirely, he's, uh, he's under the will of God or, or entirely he's under the, of the, the, uh, the will of Satan. So this is the one thing is that uh, like this. Uh, when we be a holy, we cannot remain somewhere. We cannot stand somewhere, you know. God has, God is, that is the plan of God. Either we, be, we be, a, uh, be a holy place or unholy place or dark place. When we are say, be a holy, we separate it from the, uh, the, uh, from the world, from the darkness, then... Yesterday, Dr. Zone and myself, we were talking about that. Uh, something Stephen Lewis, Dr. Lu Stephen Lewis and the, uh, Dr. The, the, the Hawkins, what are his name? Stephen Hawkins or something else? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Oh, it's from, from Englishman. The, what he wrote is that the the dark the the dark sorry what is the 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 fair, fairy tale the what is statement was like a something uh, the fairy tale of the those who are uh, afraid of the darkness and the Lewis I think doctor uh, doctor Lewis something he was replied says the it is a fairy tale of the those who are afraid of the light. You know, there is darkness or light. They are they are fighting for uh, the, the, the the Stephen Hawking, Hawkins maybe something uh, uh, from the. Uh, so he said that there's a 
the the uh, the poor human like a for atheist for atheist is the the fairy tale for for religious people is a fairy tale is a big opponent of the darkness you know they believe that the we 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 believers they we are so afraid of the darkness that's why we believe in god but the lewis the lewis he replied that the because of the uh, you you are not uh, you are in the dark place because of you or you are afraid of the light there is two things either we are dark or not that means uh, god wanted to be a, to be a holy separated from the world is to be we are transferred to entire our life to the heaven in in the heavenly place you know holy place is the heavenly place where the, the only holy people can uh, worship that this is the biblical principle it's a from the genesis the genesis concept itself it is a coming of the holy people in the light and the unholy people and the unsaved people in the dark saved people are in the light so we cannot be in the middle of the somewhere that's 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 that is the the zones and the revelation the uh, means in the 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 church of laodicea i say say that why you are lukewarm either be a huh? uh, either be a hot or cold not in a lukewarm today this is the situation as the judgment day is there we understand that the judgment day is there you know so we'll be judged according to the his holiness his his uh, power his uh, according to his law uh, grace and law together but the, this is the thing is that uh, today the churches are the people and the lukewarm you know either they are or not we should, we should, we call ourselves we are the holy people but really we are in the holy place the holy people should be in the holy place we call ourselves we are the holy men holy people but we are, are we are do we have that assurance that we have in the holy place you know so that is the things are that's way there is one holy place god designed it that you know the holy place is the in the uh, he was uh, the holy place is the god design is the that is the uh, that is the only holy place is that uh, where is the um, men can stand on the behalf of god people can stand on the behalf of god so he can pray he can uh, pray to god from that place so that place is the uh, in the cross you know today is the cross is the that's why we call the holy cross in the name of jesus in the in in the in the in the when we come to the the under the uh, feet of Jesus and the uh, the place where is the holy the holy man was sacrificed there so this evening really what i am trying to bring it that the uh, as a god is looking someone to pray for for to whom to pray you know to save his people to save his people those who are lost ones those those who are under the slavery those who are uh, the those who are were uh, slave under the uh, uh, the satan it's very important so uh, uh, what i'm trying to encourage is that uh, really we do sometimes really we are prepared to stand that gap or just to because of the it is a important the god is seeking it's okay to worshiping there were so many people are worshiping it's okay but the more than that god one is to to 
save the lost ones. So today, churches, are, we churches are, we so shallow. We are doing, yeah, God has asked us to do, just we are worshiping, we come and go, we do something. I, we say that the praise the Lord, everything's are there. So, but how much we are concerned of the, uh, the, the souls next to our door, next to our road, next to my family, fathers are like this. So one thing that uh, Dr. Zona has asked me to speak about the how to protect our family, how to protect our family, and uh, uh, how to build our family. As I am a father of hundreds, uh, many, you know, those who are, you look at this, I adopted many of my own children. I gone through the older children. Most of the children, they are, they are serving the Lord. Most of the children are, they are, you know, how it became a, they are, they, they, they are serving. One of my son, Dr. John baptized. When he was a 20, uh, 16, 17, 18, maybe just a, he was already prepared that, you know. I, I did not wait at that until he get an adult and a young man. So my younger son was the, uh, baptized by another my friend from Alabama. Huh? He, the pastor is passed away. He was a Pat Harris from Alabama. He just passed away. Both of them are. And all the children are now, I'm taking care of. They are, they are they really, they really uh, with the Lord. And really they love the Lord and they serve the Lord and they are believers, most of them. And also, I, uh, we have a hundreds of 300, 400 children in schools, you know. So we have a, we have, we have bring them unto the Lord one by another, day to day. I'm talking this, the big, big, uh, big, uh, like a big mass, but the, I want to, uh, it is like a, uh, how to, Really, it is the God's ones, same things as the lost ones, as the unsaved ones, to stand on the, in the gap, you know? Do you feel or not that is the, you are children's are, are you, our children's are le, really, uh, they are not shaped, you know? They are not born again. So our parents, as a responsibilities, to stand on the behalf of our children. If we feel that, that they are the safe ones, if they are the safe ones, the, how they walk away from the faith, you know, when they get an adult. It's very important. And the, there is few verses are like this, okay. In the Proverbs 22, 6, train up the child in the way he should go. When he is old, he will not depart from it. Train the children. Train the children in the way he should go. Uh, it means to be Children should be doctrinized, you know. You don't live them. Because of the Joshua said that the, I and my household serve the Lord. And the, the, the law God has commanded Moses or Joshua to train up in the law of God, you know. So how we are train up our children. One thing I believe that once, and we do have practice also in Asia, in Western, Eastern, Eastern world, and the Western world, one thing I re re recognize, it is a good that uh, you have it that was uh, after 18 years, you know, children are free to go. But uh, it is a, not a bi biblical. It is a biblical when the 18 years, after 18 years, 20 years, children, should leave the house. Anywhere in the Bible we find that scripture. 
I think that there's such a thing that in Nepal also that when he gets his citizen, you know, he should be responsible of his life and his house and something like that. This is the one thing is that I see in the, this is not the constitution of God. This is the constitution of who made it to destroy the family. Either you believe or not. You know? But it was not a Jewish culture, a Bible culture that the, when they when the, the children get the, the the age of 18, they should leave house. That was a, no. I'm not the against of the, this law constitution here, but the, the biblical perspective, we don't find that one. So one of the things we, uh, we, uh, we do practice here is that one. But in the Bible, you know, of course it is a right. You, we think that is a justified, this is the right. Let the children live after the 18 years. But the, within the 18 years, he should be trained up. Which way should he should go? That is the, my concern. My children are when they are 15, 14, then I train up four, five years, six, seven years to stay <coughs> with them, pray with them, and they tell, they tell about Jesus, and they confess that the age of 14, 15, many of them, they baptize. They were doctrinized, you know. In the Old Testament, children were doctrinized. They have no choice. They have no another choice. But today, children, we give them so many choices. And we don't teach our children to be responsibilities they are uh, in the family. We don't teach our children to be responsibility, uh, accountability to their parents. We don't teach our children to be, they need to take care of the house and the uh, whatever the belongings at home. But the, from the childhood, what we teach is that, that when you get when you get uh, 18, you leave the house. So he doesn't know, we are, he is not really concerned the, the age from, uh, from 11 to 19, 18, the, the, the age when he's a teenager, he never concerned of the, the family. He never think of the house responsibilities. He never thinks the guards given a responsibility. Only his thoughts will be, uh, he's thinking up to when he becoming free and he can enjoy his life. In the Bible, until and unless they don't get married, our father die, they live, after that the brother and will be departed. Uh, they, they will be. Or when he get married and he's free, free to go away from home. It was an AS factor. It was a responsibility factor. You know? So that is the Bible teaches us. That train up your child where he is go. So how, how we can train up? In the Old Testament, they were doctrinized, you know? Every day. This is the things that are it's like this. Uh, what I will do is that eh, in my home, Every day, we pray. Each one, everybody pray. And every day make their commitment. You know? What does the Bible say? So my little boy pray, and another day, another day pray. You know, sometimes we believe that the only the baptized one can pray. You know? One, only who can what I believe is that everyone can pray, you know? So that is the household. The Joshua means that me and my household mean inclusive. All the children also serve the Lord, you know? Household means only those who are not, only not for those who are were circumcised. I don't mean that one. It is not mentioned that those who are circumcised only can serve the Lord. All households when the children are included. I don't uh, believe the Presbyterian like uh, the pedo pedo Baptist. I don't I'm not the speaking Baptist. But the one thing I believe is that the children are the it is a gift from the God. And the, before the before the taken by the Satan, we need to train up in the God's way. It's very important. So how we train up? We need to doctrinize them. You know, not hypnotize. <laughs> Sometimes we <laughs> we hypnotize. You know? it's, hypnotizing is like this. Putting something 
unusual things in their mind and make them to unusual, you know. I know that the, what happened is the hypnotizing is that uh, in India they had produced one small clips of movie for children, you know. The young people, teenager people get together and what they say that is a, that they, they, all the boys are there, they started to say that, that you, are bo you are boy, I mean, you are girl. You girl. I, he said, I am not a girl. You know? I'm not a girl. I'm boy. No, 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 you are girl. Today you are girl. Tomorrow you are girl. Day after tomorrow girl. Then when he just uh, he started to think that it's all guys, they say that I'm a girl. Maybe something they have seen in me as a girl, so maybe I am something girl. So he started to think that he's a girl. So he started to walk like a girl, talk about the girl. He's not a girl. He started to do things like that. You know? So later on, after a few months, after a few years, he, be, he just everything, he started to be like a girl, you know? That is the we call hypnotizing, you know? <laughs> Hypnotize. You know, the biblical is a, not a hypnotize, you know. Doctrine is a, not a hypnotize. Hmm? It is a broad. When we talk about with the children, when we train up the children, you know, we show up that the, what we are. The parents should be there. That is the John said that, the, oh, oh, fathers, don't get your children angry. Means you are, we are not at this model, you know, we are the model. They look at us, really they, they would understand, they will learn the God from our life. Before go to the scripture, they will look at our life. So what kinds of father and mother we are? It's very important. And the another thing is that the, the train up the children means a doctrinite. To give the God's way. So every day you have a, uh, not a, uh, you, you, you should come uh, close to the, your children and talk about the God. And uh, you, the, uh, train up the children is you have a negotiation with your children, you know. When you are doing right, you get the right. You, you get the things, right things, you know. When you are not doing right, you are doing wrong, then you get the wrong things. In America, you are not, I do not know you are, how much you punish your children. But the, uh, in Nepal, also now, the child rights are not allow us to punish the children. But that, does the Bible allow us to punish the children or not? Yes. But in the right punishment, in the right place. You know? That's what we need to understand that. Right? So, when I grew up, I'm like a little bit, uh, go to the scripture, you know that there's so many things about the children. But the, this evening, I will a little bit share my experience and testimony, how I grew up the children, and they love the Lord, and uh, they would not walk away from the uh, Lord. Is that the, when they are, the first thing is that the, when my wife was conceived, you know? From the concept, I'm talking to the concept. <laughs> Some of the brethren say, so you may not, <laughs> your wife will not conceive again. But the, you can tell your grandchild these things, you know? You can, talk, you can teach your grandchild uh, to be a how, what? Oh, no. So this is the important thing is that I knew that the, my son is coming. But then, he was, when he was, my wife was conceived, I consider uh, uh, that we have a one person more in our family. You know, inside the womb, he is a family. That's why I, to, I used to tell my son, he was a seven month when we started Canaan Baptist Church, you know. So I called my son and said, look, look at boy, you are the founder of the Canaan Baptist Church. You were there. No, 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 dad. I born in, the, in November, but the church was started in September. I told that, that you were in the womb of the, your mother. And when I pray with your mom, I included you. Huh? 
you are, huh? I included you. I have a boy. I have a child in whom he is our family. So I brought to every day to the Lord in my as a family, you know, when he was a conceived my wife. So night. So sometimes that this is the word, this is the word, and uh, this is the because of the word we. Uh, there was so a big argument that the child are safe or not, you know. So when the child will be born, he just and uh, he is safe or not. When he die, as a, he, uh, the child dies, he will go heaven or not. I want. I don't want to solve the problem that one. So they argue and uh, looking for everybody. Child will go heaven or not? Safe or not? But the, this verse came to my mind. Is that uh, my boy is there? He is in. He is a conceived in sin. You know, according to. But to save him, I need to stand on. I need to stand in the gap. So night time when my wife is sleeping, huh? She doesn't know, but I lay hand my my wife's hand and say that, that Lord, this child is a conceived sin. I want to be, you know, I pray to you, Lord, you are grace and mercy be this boy, so he will be saved in the womb. This is my prayer. Huh? This is not a doctrinally I am talking about that. I pray in the womb. Then he come out. Then I used to tell that boy, I have prayed in the womb. Why, you know? Because of I love you and God loves you. You are the creation of God. So how much uh, uh, you start when you are going? We, when we start to teach our children to the word of God, the my your elder son, the first is my the my wife expected to be. She, he will say mama, but he did not. He said baba. The first voice. Then I was so at a, at a move, yeah. Why he's telling Baba first word? You can ask my wife. She was a little bit disappointed. I am the one who take care of all these things about the first voice come out of the Baba. Then I knew that because of the, from the womb, day of the concept, I lay hand and I pray for him. You know? So we started. Then the, when he started to talk about the Baba, then I'm, I said that, that I'm a Baba, but there's another Baba. Who is Baba? It's a doctor now, it's already by the word of Baba. He knows only Baba, Baba. But I told him, I'm Baba, and another Baba, God, Baba. So I started to doctrinize him, you know. So later on, when he started to read it, you know, so I asked him to, when he was very young, say something about Jesus. You know, say something about Jesus. So when he was becoming young, so every day, you know, we have uh, no televisions. Sometimes we wanted to see the television, then we asked our friend somewhere. After 8 o'clock, dinner is over. Then we carry our boys and we go, you know, <laughs> to watch the television in uh, somebody's house. For hours, I tell them that uh, we are coming for one hours because my boy want to see something. Huh? So most of the family videos we were, we give them a family videos how the family. So, so they became a later on and the, the when they were teenager, you know. So with, when they my age of 14, 15, I have a 13, 14 children line up. Every day they need to read the scripture. Every day they need to pray. Apart from the, that, they, uh, that they are prayer and they are reading, but uh, I am the one who stand fast and pray every day for their children, for the children, you know. Every day I cry to the Lord, Lord, name by name, you know, name by name. This boy, this girl, this boy, this girl, I have brought up everything in their like attitude, their behavior, huh? their good things, their bad things to the Lord. Rather than telling them you the bad things to them, I brought to the in prayer. 
So the children are really, really, they are, uh, they are really, really, when they get, they, get, they come, they came to know the knowledge in the day, well, teenager, they will come to the knowledge something. All the, everything they know, the first is the bad things, you know. This is the sight and put the, all bad things in their mouth and their mind. Uh, they learn a lot of things are bad things. So, we have, a, I never condemn the children. Only, only, only one thing is that I know that the one boy, the one who has grew up about 14 years, 16 years, he just is still one of my small things and he sell it, you know? Very, very, very secretly, but later on find out, then I, uh, I call him and I beat him and uh, ask him to bring back. I will pay, if you spend that money, okay? I, I will pay that money, huh? but that's, that's it that I talk about. But the, in my life, Yes, no. we wanted to be loving father, uh, providing everything. That much is not enough. Every day, every night, every, every night, you need to beseech the Lord, praying for the children. Sometimes children go away very badly. That time, you, are, you, you need to go to, the, to stand in the Lord's fast and pray. I do not know how much um, uh, you can fast and pray. The fast and pray is a entirely absence of the food and drinkings and the uh, to be away. As the Bible says that the one you pray, Jesus said, when you pray, go sacred place. You know, to take a bath. Put you put the oil in your head and pray to the sacred God. And you call him and he will answer. It is a very, very important. It is a this is the, the Jesus is talking about the fasting. When he was away, he was fasting. And something was one day disciple asked him, a disciple asked him that the um uh you are not eating, you know. The, 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 the word is my food, is Jesus said, you know. Praying God to my food. Talking means uh, communicating with the Father is the, my food. Not the food is the food. So this is the Jesus said that when you are praying for the anyone, but the most of the, when you built up your family, it is very, very important that you need to pass and pray. Don't cry to the, your wife. Don't cry to the, your children, you know. Son, this is too bad for me. Son, don't try to tell them. You can close the door. Go away, walk away in the jungle, somewhere very on the other side of the lake, you know. This side of the lake, you, have, you know many. The Jesus, why he was on the other side of the lake, you know? Many people, they did not know him in the other side of the lake. Then they don't rush it. That's why he was on the other side of the lake. He could be in this side of the lake and he can pray it. But the many people come to him. So you choose the place where people don't come to you. Separate place, sacred place. That is the Jesus. If you are at home, you cannot go away from the other side of the lake. In the mountain and hillside and desert, and a de desert, you cannot go to the desert. Then close your door. Nobody knows you are inside the door. Nobody knock your door. Let your wife know that uh, you are not. Uh, you are. Not, uh, you are somewhere else. No, nobody knock the door. This is the sacred place. Then very important. Whoever, for it must be your brother, a lost one, your children, your father, anyone. You can call to the God for that man, for that person. Then he will be answered. My children get so bad. Because so many children sometimes. So just I walk, walk down to the summer and I bring to them. I, then I call to the Lord. Lord, and this evening I am going to teach my children this verse. But 
please permit me and anoint me. When I talk to my children, they will be really convinced, you know, they will be really inspired, they may be really blessed. You know, in our Sunday school, in our children, sometimes we ask our children to recite the word of God, you know. Then we are, uh, how we know is that when by reciting, huh, they will be really come to know the truth, you know, which is not. Many people can sing, many people can recite many things, but they are not in. But the, when we talk to the, our children, word of God, it's very important before talk to the children, the word of God to the children, we need to pray about that. This evening, I'm going to talk to my children, this verse, Lord, and I give a Holy Spirit, guide me the Holy Spirit. Is we have a inspiration, anointing of the Holy Spirit. This is the son. Then when I take to the that, that one, yeah, that this is the really I taught me. Then I tell that you need to, the same evening we talked about that. Would you like to take it? Yes. So this is the dad expected that, that you should take it. And next day he will do something. Then I will remind him that you have a you have a a commitment, you had a promise to do that yesterday, you know. This is our duty to, when we train up, remind the word of God. Not the, what I said yesterday, but the, what the scriptures say yesterday. That's very important. That is the, the proverb said, train up your children. Sometimes the, we share our vision, our children, our way. Huh? We tell our such a, I used to tell my uh, children's to the, my grandpa, my father's, lot of story, you know. When I was been talking to my father's girl, they were Second World War, First World War, and my son, you know, when he started to bring a DVD, DVD, what kinds of DVD he brought and put it in the, in the, inside it, all the war. Why they brought all my son, is they started to bring a DVD, and the, about the da, 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 da. when he was a child, I had spoken to him about my grandpa and my father and how they were fighting, gone and so on. And he thought up that this is the, I need to I need to take up the my grandpa's something and father's and something and something something and he started to do 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 uh, how teach them? Then later on, I put a, the one of the. Okay, we agree. We had a peace today together with the children, and said that uh, you are that one something. So children say, what do, what do you want, Dad? I want you everybody to read the scripture, huh? To know the our godly father. So everybody say yes. We have a ice cream and something. We are happy, happy. Then we everybody make a. Come before the Lord, we made, we made a commitment. Even if they are child, they make a commitment to the Lord. I will do it. Later on, so we, we tell the God's story. I started to tell them the God story. So they know that. What we tell our children in the, when we are training up the children. That is the day. Really, it is a time to, uh, in the teenagers, when the, they are child, they are really, they, uh, uh, they, what we tell them, that they really take up. So very important when we train, train up the, our children is that uh, one thing is very important. What I would like to bring is that uh, any problem with the children, any any problem difficulties with the family, and not I'm talking about the one that children. I have, I have told the children of the my boys. I pass and pray was from the beginning is said. You know, any. Not meaning that, that they will not face the, uh, the persecution. Not meaning that, that they will not uh, go away, run away sometimes. But they believe that the, if you have a really doctor nice and they will go. Many times my children go away. They are really bad. Uh, they, they, they feel that uh, they should not be. But that they, will, uh, they will come another way telling that the dad, I remember that the, you are what told me. That's why I come back. Not because I am that they come back. Because of a, they remember that the, in the, when the child, what I taught them. So after 18, after teenagers are over, they will gone. You cannot expect much, you know. That's why the train of the children, the train of the children, 
and in the way he should go. What way you want to go? I will tell you. When I am telling the story of the, my grandpa, my father, really he take up that. Ding, 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 ding. Then I started to the low. I, I started to the about Jesus and God. They drop up everything. So it's in our hand. The child is in our hand when they are teenagers, when they are child. You know that's where the Lord has said that uh, that uh, train up children where he should go. So, but the it's very very important that the in prayer without prayer, no without prayer. Pray first. Jesus has any any mission, any you can see. There are so many Catholic, uh, Roman Catholic have their own story about Jesus. Many other uh, scholars, they have their own history. But uh, when Jesus started his ministry, it was by fast and pray. Fast and pray. Without fast and pray, he has not, any, he has not started the ministry. He was in the desert, isolated. And he was another side. whole day he was another side of other. Then he instructed his, his, his disciple, you know, to be a separate means it is, it is a, not, there is a, like, like, a, like a, it, is a, it is a background of, if you, if you look at in the, uh, Matthew chapter 6, he gives a background of the Jews, hypocrite Pharisees, you know. When, when, you, when you pray, don't stand in the roadside with the face down, you know, black face and uh, a bloomy face and down. That means that whenever uh, the, the, the Jews are praying in the roadside, they passed, you know, they have uh, no food. They, 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 they introduce them that they, they, they are suffering for Israelites, praying for supper. That is the background Jesus has given that they were fasting with the gloomy face. Then he did not say when you are fasting, but when you are fasting. But the background we should understand that the we understand that the Jews were fasting, but they are in a, but but then when you are fasting, you know, not in the roadside. It is not a calendar. It is an urgency when you need it, you know. The Jews have a calendar to fast. We don't put in the fast. But the Jesus, Jesus put a, uh, the, um, the needs, urgency. Whenever he needed urgency, uh, he, uh, that's why I did that when, when you pass it. So I in, this is the, my really, really experience. And really, really, I uh, my imply that how I, I taking up all the children to the Lord and how they, I led them to the Lord is that the, I fast and pray for these children. When I'm fasting and praying, I bring to them name by name, you know. Not all children lost bless. All children not like this. I call Raju, Sila. Did Sila have this one? Raju have this one. Lord, these are the you have given this one. Sorlin have it. Sundays have it. Jyoti have it. This, 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 name by name. It's a long process sometimes. You know? But... Why not we suffer three hours to pray to save these children then the, after they go away suffering 30 years? You know? Think of that. The, sometimes that the children, we, when they were there, the people will go away, they run away, they will, we suffer loss many years. But the, in prayer, why not we suffer? Huh? Sometimes the children will do the bad things and we got upset and we don't eat it. You know? We don't want to eat it. Why not we pray before they get the bad to one day not eating, two days not eating, then pray to the God. Then, then the of getting upset and the for not eating by the anger and the shadowing oneself after the people get bad. Yeah? That is very important. We get the three days, four days not eating. Why you are suffering? Because of my children, my people get very bad and I'm so hot and I'm dying like this. No, I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat. But I tell that uh, you don't want to eat because of you are fasting. Three days, two days. And you are going to the separate place and brought to the Lord. That means it is a, we are the holy people now. 
we stand in the gap of them on the behalf of our people as a be, be, being a holy, you know. So we present our life with the holy to the God. Very important. That's the that's the uh, this is the really really I wanted to uh, bring everything. So not today. It's a long process, but the thing is that uh, it's very important. Without fast and pray, there is the no ministry. No ministry. You believing, coming to us, worshiping, that is a different matter. But if you want to do anything to be happen, and the, the God is working such a wonderful way, the extraordinary way, the past and pray is the, the, the I believe that the, uh, the, 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 this is the important that the uh, God will bless the family when you stand on the behalf of your family. That means you are not together standing, you know. You set aside of your family, you are children, and the God is there. You should be as a father, a mother, whoever, you should be in the middle. That is the protection. That's the God say, who can build my wall? You are the we are the responsible to build, protect my our children, our, our, our family too. We are the responsible to build a wall for our family, for our, you know, children, for our family. And the God is there. The always the at the head of the family, as a, as a, as the leader of the family, he should be ready to present himself in the in the uh, to, in the stand in the gap. How much you take up you are you are people you are lost ones you are children to in your heart, you love them. To love them, provide everything is the, as a physical physically then you are. You are really, really, really obligated asked to provide the spiritual protections, and the, that is the fathers. It is the heavenly father and the father. So thank you very much. Any question? That I, I think Genesis is ready to ask some questions. Yes. How long will it last? Is it one day, two days, three days? The, it's like this. The, what the spirit did, not somebody asked you to pass it. How how much you how many days you feel you are guided to past, you know that's very important. At least I uh, I pass uh, twenty four hours at least minimum, you know, or top twelve hours maybe sometimes, minimum twelve hours for a morning seven o'clock start or five o'clock start. Don't need anything before, but they start and go away uh, evening come back. But the, when you come back, you you need to conclude. You are fasting, you know. There is some scripture. I mean, something said that Lord, I have prayed, you know. Is 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 by scripture or not? That is not a matter. But that you can tell the thank the Lord, you know? You feel you feel differently. So you you yourself you feel that differently, and you can uh, you can thank the Lord, and you believe that the whatever you have asked, you believe that you receive it. No unbelieving. That means you can go three days to the. But the only one thing is that uh, um, I need to. I would like to encourage you that uh, you need to share with our family. You know that we are going going away. Otherwise, you come back, then you need, then you have a problem at home. Everything's are gone wrong. So you need. Uh, I I is I tell my wife. I will I will be switch up everything. Mobile no no computer no telephone no anything. Else. Anybody call you come to uh, want to know you. Tell them that uh, I'm not available. So I'm, go I'm, I'm not able, available to you, the children, you and the church and the family, any. I will be caught up, totally, entirely caught up, and I will be sacred place. Then, only I will be talking to God. No one is talking to that day. And no, only I'm praying to God. I'm, only I'm bringing into the, in prayer is what i supposed to bring. And I'm called to God means that that is the appealing to God. Huh? Call to God and He will answer. It is a, Jesus has told that call to Him, then He will answer you. You know that is the things that I just connected with God. So maybe it is a sometimes a normal one day. It's a one, normally you know. Maybe you feel a little bit hungry at the time. You may be thirsty. I you know you are tempted to eat sometimes. But the, if you like, if you go next day, another day. You will be really strengthened by, you know, the spirit of the Lord, and you you don't feel to eat, you don't feel to thirsty. It is a little bit extra, 
ordinary, uh, I feel it. When you fast, do you fast alone with Jesus, or are you only watch? If she, she needed, no, no, I mean, no, no, no. If, if she needed, sometimes uh, I feel I'm alone. But sometimes together. But the mostly is like a if we if, if 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 she and me have a same agenda, same subject, same issue, then we together. If we have a different, then different. Because of the she brings something, I bring something, that is a different. It is a, the, the Lord says that the, you two or two or more, you if, if you agree in my name. So before we come together, we need to be agree. This is the issue and subject. We pray. So, so we can do that. Yes. It's not a charismatic way <laughs> what I will do. You know, there are so many promises, the, uh, the promise of the Lord, you know. So when you read the scripture, according to what subject you need it, everything is in the Bible. No need to be close your eye and have a vision from the Lord. And no need to say, thus the uh, Lord has told me and give me uh, these things. Everything in the Bible, according to what, what you need it, about the sickness, about your child, about to get a something, about the victory. You read the scripture and you pray about that. The Lord, you have a promise this once. I want to see. Today did I claim the, you know, I have a faith on this scripture. I believe this is sister. This is a situation you have brought me. And this is the situation is now I am. Lord, I need you are in you are uh, take over these issues. Help me. It is a like a, you know, we, you know, it is a not a, our our fighting is a, not a. You need to uh, we we are like a, we are we are we are, uh, we are fighting for against the power and the principality. It is a spirit being, you know. It's a spiritual warfare. Nothing is a, like a substantial. We do something and uh, it is not that we things happen. Just we believe and we have a faith on that scripture and we appeal to God and he, God will make it to happen. That's it. Yes, sir. Think of the most fearful man who did not raise this child that but he now knows I must lose my son, I must lose my daughter. So he advised that he should do it. Still there is hope. Still you can do the same things. You can stand on the behalf of your child and cry out to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord means uh, it is a very, uh, very important. The uh, very important. The Lord, the, uh, God has used that. The bo it's a strong word. Cry out to the. Don't tore you are uh, you are clothed and you are to, means you are garment. Tore out your heart. How much you? Um, it is a not not a, uh, the fasting and praying to the Lord is a, it's a, not a really uh, really it is a, you go no uh, just to you present yourself as a. Uh, volunteer or something else. It is a really you present. You are the you need it. You know you, you need it. You are dying without because of the in the desert no water. Just you are dying. It is a very important that the when you uh, like still the hope is there. You can cry out to the Lord. Lord will make it happen in my life. It's like you no, know, um, my my brother. He was trying to kill me ten years. I was not going to that then. I passed three days for my village. You know? Tell the Lord, I want to go to my village. These people needed you. Give me a way. Then I wrote to my brother to the letter. Brother, we are, sibling, we are brother. Same father. I love you. I, what do you think? He said that, uh, okay. I think we need the brothers come. 
The God is the one who changed the heart. You know? Those who are the gone away, our children, they are not believing, not because of the culture, not because of politics, because of the, the Satan has hardened their heart. So through the break, through the prayer only can be the breakthrough, you know? You know the, uh, uh, I believe that the, uh, that, that the, the disciple could not cast out the devil, you know? They could not cast out the devil, and they come back, uh, and said, Lord, we could not cast out the devil. We could not have, have a sick, no, not to be, not healed. But Jesus told them, such kinds of sickness, or such kinds of devil, poses, will not be free uh, without the fast and pray. So spiritual, spiritual, what we mean to be a spiritual warfare. A spiritual warfare, of the, it is a spirit, a spiritual warfare is the, the weapon of the, God has given us authority, and the weapon is the prayer, you know. When the Moses pray, when the Daniel pray, when the Nehemiah pray, everybody, God, so as they pray and things are happen. When the Paul was, Paul was pray and praising and praying in the thing, and the, the door was open, when the, you know, uh, the, uh, one, uh, the upper room, the, the disciple of Jesus were praying, the, the, the Peter was freed. It is not for those days. This is still exists. What I believe is that in my life, uh, by prayer, you know, big, big things are happening. I have um, hundreds of testimony that in the, in, the, in the Bhutan, dark place, in Tibet, in the Potala Palace, when I'm preaching in the Potala Palace. Refreshing a Bible five, among the 5,000 monks. I have a video, still I have a video that I placed them on. You know, what happened? I'm replacing the Bible. The, 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 the monks are reading, I'm putting the Bible on them. I, 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 was, I prayed to the past and pray. When I reached before to claim up the Portola Palace, I prayed to the Lord. You have blended all the, uh, the people up here and here and there and the uh, Amlakas and they, uh, they did not, huh? As, so today you are going to blind the this lama and all these things. Not just I'm praying that I'm fasting in two days, three days, and then I was spirit. Then then I hold all the Bible in my jacket and fifteen copies of the Tibetan Bibles, and I was walking and putting there. What happened? The last piece is left in the top. This interesting story I do have many many stories, but the interesting story I will tell is the even uh, incidents I will tell you. That every 10 meter there is the Shishi camera. Everybody, we do not know, everybody is spying that uh, around. Everything's are. Then the last step is like this, going around, 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 and many, many, many stories, seven, ten, and nine, ten stories. Then I move, I move by, move by, by putting the by New Testaments under the curtain and up on the tables, putting in. I will be finished. I know that if they come to know anything, and I will be just finished. Every, my life is gone forever. I knew that, but the, I'm not concerned of the, my life. I concerned of the gospel of Jesus, and pray. I have already prayed that I have prayed that. Then the last moment is like this happened. And the CC camera there, CC camera there, CC camera there, and all the people are around walking and rushing people to me. Then I come, there's a, this is the door, the, the escape door here, and this is the, 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 the another round there. I come that round. And I just last piece I take out the the, new, uh, the, the, the Bible, and be like this. I wanted to, to escape the uh, I, I wanted to escape the Shishi camera. Just I take out the Lord. This is the last piece. I was really moved. I take out and I I I take it like this, and I just I throw it in front of the sign. Just me there. Just I drop it, zoom, then the, the, the Chinese police is there. Oh, I thought uh, now, uh, now I'm, this is the last day for me. But the just silent, I had spoken something to him in Tibetan language. Just I, I, I dropped the Bible and I said, that, Sir, today day is so cool, is it? Very cool day. Very, very, very cool day. Today the day is so cool, is it, sir? He said, yes, today is so cool. Then he walk, walk, walk away that way. 
He saw that I'm dropping by there. You know? I know I am Chinese, but still I I I do not know what to say, but I tell this is a day for all time. Then he was drawn everything that, that the full day, not the Bible. Then I walk away this way, he walk away. I see. This is the clear one. This is the extraordinary thing that happened in my life. You know, just you. We are reformed. We are so much uh, like in this, uh, uh, sometimes, uh, yeah. But uh, I'm not trying to say that uh, you are uh, like a the revival way, not a reformed way, not a charismatic way, not a Christian way, not a Baptist way, not a Christian way. But let's try the Bible way. Let's try the Bible way. If if doesn't happen, either the the word of God is wrong or <laughs> I'm wrong. The word of God never can be wrong, you know. So we will be wrong. We need to come back again. You know, we need to correct them. That's the things. I know that's it, that's it, the things are uh, like this. So I encourage people to fast at least 24 hours and give the thanks. Then what you have brought to the, not a general, it's very particular. There should be, when you are praying, it should be very, very particular. Don't, don't pray for general. If uh, general prayer, not uh, Lord bless, bless, no. If you are praying for son, pray for son. It specifically, particularly bring your son name. When you are you are you are son name, his attitude, his strong point, his weak point, his wrongdoing, his right doings, everything you should and you should make make known to the Lord. No, my son, I want son, Lord, 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 I want son, son, not like this. Bring him everything details to the Lord. You know your son better than anybody else. You know your wife better than anybody else. You know? I tell my wife when I'm going to preaching, I say, Manu, you cannot come with me. You are here. But the one thing you can do, you can pray for me. So, so uh, she, she asked me that, what subject I pray? You know why I'm doing. And uh, there is only one person knows me better than anybody else that is you. You know every details about me. You pray about me. So God will, uh, let the God be with you. And I will do the things I'm going to do. That's the way. When you are bringing, praying you are for wife, praying family, brother, you need to know everything about him. When you are praying for your gone go away children, you know everything why he has gone. He, what is his mind? What he is, what he was doing? What his, uh, he was? No, now what he is? What he have a good point? What, what is his wrong point? So, bring the uh, good point too. When you are talking to the children, you know, like uh, always sometimes we talk to the children, we don't talk their good things. Huh? Just immediately we talk our bad things. They are bad things. I believe that the, the, the thing is that uh, God also look at our good things, you know, what we have done, <laughs> what we are doing. That is the father asked. Any question? Yes, sir. It's up to you. How you how you feel it, you know. Sometimes the I I beat some of the someday one I beat my one of the my boy, little bit because he committed wrong, you know. I beat him. He was. I beat another son. He said, like this. It depends on the how you feel, how you react with you you yourself. Sometimes you are deep down in your heart and you're broken, you know. It is not me, not because of you, you know, how you are. It is not an emotional move, you know. How you experience the situation there. It is when you are fasting. 
It's someone you are dying, someone beloved one is dying in your home, you know? How you, only you are moved by the emotionally or you are really, you are hot and you are break down, you know? Huh? Sometimes the people sing the songs and people move it emotionally, you know? That touch. It is a, a related, but the actual, uh, the, the, the truth and fact there, you know? Really, really you want to see happen. Really it means uh, not a, it is a only the uh, uh, emotion. It is a broken your heart, you know? That you are carrying a burden. It is a burden. I will ask you any father here, you go to the royal palace, you go to the big garden, you go to the you go to anywhere else. If you are someone beloved one, is something happening? Will you carry with him? You will be you will you will carry with him in heart, you know? You think of that wherever you are. It's a carrying a burden is like this. You wherever you are, you carry the burden. It's like a burden inside your heart. Burden means like a, really you feel it. You, you experience it. Like my children's song, so sometimes my son is, uh, I, knew, I, know, I know he's going wrong, but I cannot tell him you are going wrong because of the circumstances. But I carry in my heart. He's really, I need him. So sometimes I come to the Lord, and when I come to the Lord, I feel bored and that uh, I will really broke out to the Lord. I cry out to the Lord. It's not because of the human feelings, you know. It is a, I feel that is a Lord, the, the, the burden, in the burden, that the Lord we walk in our heart, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit will, uh, you know that the, uh, I think Romans said that, that we do not know how to pray, but the, 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 the Spirit is still groaning heart, you know, groaning Means it's a, not a rebellious heart, not a broken heart, but a groaning. It's a we do not, you do not know. I like a, Dr. Waldip do not know how much he loved someone. He wanted, he tried to be happy, but he cannot be because of the the spirit is groaning itself. That's the burden. Why it is a groaning heart, as Roman said that. Huh? That is the burden we carry. So that should be bring to the Lord, and it should be broke out. Breakthrough is there. I believe that much. Okay. Yeah, you had a question. So, uh, going back to the real time, two questions. Number one, if you fast for 24 hours, do you pray 24 hours? Yeah. Or do you fast all day? No, no, no. It is a, uh, in, uh, the, when we are the fasting, um, the Jesus said, you, it is a, clearly Jesus said that you call to him. Calling to him is a praying, you know. Call to him, answer. You look at this the chapter, uh, uh, the Matthew. Let's come to the Matthew. So, <laughs> and then we can see the Daniel. Daniel was fasting and praying. In it, it, he was fasting and praying. He, he, he faced out to the Jerusalem and uh, he fasted and prayed. When he fasting, is a, a fasting is a, not a, just to laying in the bed and just to uh, absence of the food. The, the fasting is the entirely reading the scripture, praising God and reading the scripture and praying uh, praying and bringing all the uh, the uh, the particular uh, subject particular uh, uh, the prayer points to the lord uh, uh, matthew chapter 6 what was it just said uh it is like this. Verse 3, but where you, uh, you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know that when you are right hand doing us, that you are charitable deeds may be a secret and uh, your father will seize the secret, will himself 
reward you openly. And when you pray, you shall not be like a, a you shall not be like a hypocrite. You know, when you pray, that means we, are, we will be praying. How many hours we are praying? 24 hours. So if you are not praying, not doing anything 24 hours, 12 hours, maybe you need to go to the sleep. Until you don't close your eye, you not fall in sleep, still you are praying. You are thinking of the reading scripture. I believe that one. Is that a, this is the time for him to pray. Pray means appealing everything you bring to the Lord. Nobody knows anything. Nobody knows you and God. That's what the Bible said. You and God. You are you and God only. That means you are talking. You are praying to God, appealing to God. Everything uh, you are making known to God. What subject? Let's suppose you are praying for your brother. You should everything bring to the about the brother to him. So you ask the grace and mercy to the breakthrough, break down the that he need to be saved. He need to be healed. Uh, he need to be uh, uh, get out that problem. Get uh, get up from that problem. So you pray. Yeah. Sometimes what I will do is that I, the, I read the scripture, meditate on, and whenever I get the promise of the Lord, uh, the, like, a, like my, very related to my subject, then I claim that the Lord, this is the scripture. You said that. It, I want to take these things to me. Not a beating a Bible. Ah, I shouldn't give unto you. Hey, Lord, not like this. Just simply I go, go to the, this is the scripture said. This is the living scripture. So, this is the, some practical way of what I practice. Any more questions before I close? Yes, sir. I already told you that the, the, the one who stands on the, on the gap, he should be a holy man. Yeah. Hey, holiness is that, that, that we are, we, of course you are right, that uh, we need to be repented our sin. We, we must be a worthy to be a, uh, worthy to be a stand that feeling a gap, you know? So I should be, uh, we sh not by any, any kinds of this, you know, acts, we will be, uh, uh, we will be uh, we will be purely uh, sanctified on self by the Holy Spirit through the repenting the sin and asking the forgiveness to the Lord. And you are my for asking forgiveness should be uh, it is a genuine one. I have committed so many sins and they said that Lord forgive my sins, Lord forgive my sins. That is not the way. You know what does the Bible says that. The, if I have taken anything, anything wrongly, by force, anything wrongly, I will pay back four times. That is the Zakai. You know? Zakia said that. We need to pay the price sometimes. We need to really repent it. If I, if I have done if I've done something wrong to somebody else, I need to call and tell him that uh, please forgive me. I will not do it again. The repentance is not doing again. Regret is doing again. So many people regret up their sin, but they don't repent their sin. The, we, yesterday we have seen that the, that son never go back to the again to the, <laughs> to the swine farm, you know. Repentance is that like this. Someone repented, he will not do it again. The breakthrough is the, that one. It happened in his life something, he will never come it again, come back. Do that, the same things. Repentance is like this. If, if, if somebody, I'm hurting my wife, Sorry, my wife, uh, I really, I asked the forgiveness, I repented. I will not do it ever again. But you regret, you regret, oh, I'm doing so, sorry, sorry. Next day you do the same. That is not a repent. When we go to the God's present, you know, we repented. That means we are not doing that sin again. Anything, any, any things we know, we did the wrongs. 
only the holy people can worship the Lord. You know, holy people only can go, can go to the, uh, the 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 altar of the Lord, and holy people can go, only can be a, in the that is the that is the in the revelation say holy holy holy. That that reflected through the his people that the, be holy as I am holy. You know, what is my mean by holy? He's he he is purely righteousness. He has a sinless nothing wrong, nothing sin with him. That is the reflection of his people. The die kingdom come. I have been talking about the die kingdom. Your kingdom come is that the, we should be a, a blameless, sinless. Is it possible? Is it possible or not? Sometimes we think that are not possible by the repentance. That's why the every day, as the each person said that the, uh, the the we need the one time Holy Spirit indwelling, but the, we need the everyday sanctification. Sanctification is a process every day to be a holy. You know we are all holy, but that we need to be washed every day the, by the by the Holy Spirit sanctification is that one. So when you go to the Lord prayers, then you need to be sanctify yourself before you go to the prayer. It's like this case. Sometimes that we are family, we get upset with the wife and me. Children sometimes. Then my wife would call to me, today we are not going to pray. He say, yes, we are not going to pray until we don't we don't sanctify ourselves. Because we don't want to play with the God. Huh? We don't want to go uh, as uh, unholy to the God. Then she said that, okay, then who made a mistake? Do you think that I made a mistake? Yes, you made a mistake, this, this, this. So forgive me. I will not do it again. Let's pray. First we pray for the, uh, pray, to pray for others, then we pray each other. I will, I will ask the Lord, I have committed wrong against my wife. Lord, forgive me. And the, my wife, I have asked forgiveness to my wife. This is the difficult part, is it, Daniel? To ask forgiveness to my wife? Do you think that? <laughs> He's agree with me. <laughs> it's a difficult part is to ask the forgiveness with the son. Huh? You are my son. Why should I ask forgiveness? But if you don't, you hurt your son. You have, until and unless you don't ask forgiveness, you don't repent, you will not be holy. So how you can pray? It's very <laughs> easy like this. So uh, I will ask to my wife, and okay, if we don't forgive each other, we don't repent each other, we don't pray. I want to be honest. I don't know. We don't pray. I say, Man, uh, money, you go to your bed. I will go to my bed. Tomorrow we come back. Really, who, who is the making mistake? To, okay, we are here, no problem. We are belong to God, no problem. But when we pray to the God, we go to the God. We pray each other, it's okay. But when we go to the God, we should be a really acceptable. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, we should be sanctified. That is that we are lacking. You know? But uh, in the Ispurzan, time of Ispurzan, it was really, 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 the, in his, his biography, that is something said that, uh, Everybody kneel down and pray. You know? They kneel down and repent. Everybody came. There were 11 women. They were not pray, sitting in the, in, like this and the, like this, the comfort uh, sofa. Everybody, when the person was in the, in the pulpit, he forgot to be the 11 women are kneeling down. Praying. And the rest of the time, what he was saying is that the, the God, God's presence will be there, then we will be holy there. They are praying for the sanctification. <coughs> okay. So did I try to give you your answer? Right? Very important that uh, uh, you need to be really, really, really. It is a, it is a takes time and process and the like, you know? We need to be, how much we need to be close to the God. And then the, uh, we have, uh, like this. I have heard lots about the Joe, Joe Biden, Biden, Joe Biden. I have heard a lot of things by the, uh, the Donald Trump. 
goodness. I love him. I am like him. Everything. But the until and I, unless I will be close to him, and I, I will really he, he until and unless he doesn't, they don't accept me. My like is not a not his acceptance, you know. My I like him is not a his acceptance. I am his friend is not a his acceptance. But when he accepts me as a friend, as a, as, a, as a one of the, his, his man, Donald will Trump accept me, then we'll be face to face. I, I'm able to go to the Washington DC or his house and, and I, I'm into his house. Then I have, he will allow me to come to his house and I have a right to say something and get it something. The God's process is right, I feel it's the same thing again. Until and unless we enter the, into the kingdom of his, his throne, just it is a voice. Huh? That's the important is that I should be accepted by the Lord Jesus, by God, and I should be entered into his home, his heavenly place, holy place. Then can I can try to ask and he will he will he will he, when he accept me, then he will accept my actually my prayer. So without his acceptance, my prayer will not be accepted. I made it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, maybe uh, it is a like a, like a, it's a good to, like a, have an interaction. It's very good. You know, it is a uh, than the devotional. I believe that the let's begin something. The God will do the you know. It's not everybody need to agree. Secretly, you can do your own home. You know, you you can do your own home somewhere else. Nobody knows you are praying or fasting. No need to declare. God, but the, no need to declare it. You are doing it. Then something you are, you want to see things to be happen in your family, in your church, you are by your neighbor. Something will happen. You know, it is a breakthrough. Always the uh, very important fast and pray is very important. What I see is that that which are not very much practiced among us. We don't want to avoid the such a food, huh? wonderful food. Huh? But the, <laughs> when they were appointing a leader in the church, did you see? In the deacons in the church, in the, 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 sir, the deacons and the someone in the Acts 6, Acts 13, empty of church, they pass and pray. Today, churches, are, they don't want to pass and pray. They want to go for vote. Easy. Right and give it to them. Either you pray or not. Huh? But the church has to begin by the not by voting, not casting the lot. It is that in the casting the lot is there in the in the Bible. When did he do it? When, when the, 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 the Judah is correct, he just emptied himself. Then the feeling that that, that there was a that was the they cast the lot and the, they they added one more disciple. But the after Acts chapter two, when the Holy Spirit was come down and the, then the, they started to pray. It is the the praying, fasting and prayer is the one of the important work of the Holy Spirit too. In anticipating with the Holy Spirit, anticipation of the Holy Spirit, and the work of the Holy Spirit is in, in prayer. So that's why I impact. Uh, yeah, uh, now these days are, I'm very much happy, going around and talking a lot. I have forgotten many things to do. But why am I talking to you? I really feel that I need to go back and do something for the Lord. And we need to study. It is the impact and it's the fasting and praying is the imparting what we have and the impartation of the Holy Spirit. So things will be ha the uh, things will happen through that. Power is the it is a, we not, we call it dynamo, dunamis. You know, the power, the dunam dunamis is there, dynamo is there. We do not know see the where is the, di the dynamo. But the light is, we know that when things are switch on, all the light is come on. Prayer is like that. The prayer, the, the, the dunamis, you know, the, the result. Openly, you, uh, we can see the, the light. Things will happen. Have you seen the hydro uh, dynamo? Have you seen ever? Dunamis? Somewhere in the riverside, somewhere in the thunder, somewhere, I do, we do not know. But the when you switch on this, the prayer is somewhere in the secret. But the when, the, when we, we, we come to the Lord's ministry, things will happen. Let me go or something you have still?
Anything you have, brother? Huh? You don't have it. Doctor, you have anything? No? So thank you very much. I enjoyed it. I really believe that. When I'm sharing with you, I'm really, my, I bless myself too. Brother. It's really, I feel that so inspire myself to the, uh, to the, the I, even I, this is a really teaching for me. I need to go back and I start doing something. <laughs> Such things, what I'm teaching. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's wrap this up with the word of prayer, shall we? Lord, that, that was wonderful. It was challenging and formative. I pray that you might help us to take these things to heart. As you speak to our hearts and people come to our minds, that you might help us to be willing to resort to fasting and prayer as we seek their salvation, as we seek reconciliation, as we seek blessing for them. Dismiss us now, please. Give, give us uh, safety as we travel home and a good night's rest tonight. Uh, filled with gratitude for the blessings that we have received. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys.